I am a fish finder. No, no, I'm a fish finder. Now I am a fish finder. One, two, three, four, rock! Big nice. fish in a far. I'm getting there, so I'm get, the get your cap and get your car. But as you can see, there's bait fish all along. Big fish in a span. Net chat, net chat. Got your limit, what the heck? Sam! Two keepers! Walk down the lot of me. Summertime in New Orleans means speckled trout. Big we fish in a far. Don't you love fishing with friends? <laughs> Big Fish TV is up and running thanks to great sponsors like Ray Brandt Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram, Puglia, Sporting Goods, Cajun Outboards, Neil Record Insurance, the Clayton Fruge Law Firm, Penn Fishing, Berkeley, Abu Garcia, and Spiderwire, Ultimate Braid Fishing Line. It's a new year with new lower pricing like the new 2013 Dodge Charger for only $22,490 or the new 2013 Dodge Challenger for only $21,990. Only at Ray Brand Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram on the West Bank or online at RayBrandDodge.com. Well, welcome to Big Fish TV. Or the new and improved Big Fish TV. Have a terrific show for you today. I think uh, February is supposed to be a slow month, February is right? here. But while most people think of this, as a slow month of fishing, we have some great action from Delacro and the Intercoastal Waterway. Captain C.T. Williams is going to give us a tour of the Big Fish Finder. It's a website that we're working on to get you on the fish with just a couple clicks of a mouse. But first and foremost, Joe Macaluso has this week's top outdoor news. Well, Sam, sad days for duck hunters. They're putting all their equipment away for goose hunters, conservation orders left. Uh, you can, I don't know, maybe use electronic calls during that time. It goes all the way into March. You can unplug your shotguns, hunt till a half hour after dark and no limits. Again, rabbit and squirrel go all the way through the end of the month. For you deer hunters, the only thing left for you guys is Area 6 archery season. That goes to February 15th. The big news for next week is going to come out of Baton Rouge. Wildlife and Fisheries Commission, they're going to discuss the recreational red snapper season and what Louisiana is going to do with that. You Chafalaya Basin, you bass fishermen, pay attention because they're going to change some of the bass regulations, at least announce the notices that they want to change them in the Chafalaya Basin, Lake Verrett, Lake Fossey Point area. Um, again, they're going to announce the 2014-2015 hunting season dates for resident game, and that's going to be the, what's coming out of Baton Rouge. Hot topic. Now, we spent last week at Ferris Brothers in Jackson, Mississippi. Big trade show. Everything that's coming out for 2013, maybe early 2014. Let's go to Pure Fishing and Penn Reels and see what their hot item for 2013 is going to be. One of the products that made Penn world famous for its reliability in saltwater fishing was the spinning reels that were the saltwater slammer and the spin fisher. And as far as new products go, this is probably the best thing they've come out with this year. It's the spin fisher five. It's all metal body. It's waterproof. They're gaskets in between the face plates and the body itself. They're gaskets on the drag. It's got the HT100 drag that is well, it's world known. You braid ready. You've got a little rubber gasket here that you can tie your braid to and you get going right away. It doesn't slip. And I don't know if you can see it but we even have line guides in here to let you know how much line you have when that big fish is pulling drag and you've got to figure out whether or not you've got to chase him or wear him out. All metal body, HT100 drag system, braid ready, the Spin Fisher 5. Great new product from Penn. Hey, we're here to talk about fishing. And in the month where most folks are not reeling them in, we've got good reports coming from Lake Charles all the way over to Lake Pontchartrain. Speaking of that area, Let's go down to Seabrook Harbor and join Captain C.T. Williams, Captain Mike Gallo, and myself for some great action. The winter pattern doesn't change. We've got cold fronts, warm fronts, warming trends. Temperatures are different every day, but it doesn't mean your fishing isn't going to be good. And right now, you can stay pretty close to home. When your weather authority says it won't rain until late morning, you can take it to the bank or in this case the dock at Seabrook Harbor. Fishing on both ends of the industrial canal is steady. He's shaking his head. He's oh. oh my goodness. Along the intercoastal waterway near the Paris Road Bridge, you'll find active fish despite tough weather conditions. Oh, it's windy, oh, it's cold. I'm getting in the boat. I'm getting in the boat. <laughs> How you like that? Good job, 15 mile see. an hour winds, cold water. Rifle. That's a purple and chartreuse ripple shad gulp with a very nice speckled trout. 
The best approach is to drift with the wind, about 30 yards from the bank. You can cast ahead or troll baits behind your boat. Today we did both. Look at this. <laughs> the way we're setting this is basically I just wanted to set it to where it was trolling just a little off the bottom. So what it did is you let it out all, you know, let it out a good bit. It hits the bottom. Um, you don't want to leave it bumping the bottom too hard because it'll get a, uh, it'll hook on a rock. Woo! So you just pick it up a little bit. Trolling just off the bottom. Little white Berkeley curl tail, four inch swimming mullet, pearl white. Putting them in the boat. Hey, like that. Fishing in bad weather, still good. <laughs> we thought it came off, but he didn't. There you go. Drifting and drifting. So, you know, and it's interesting. You can, uh, you can bounce it yourself, or you can just let it drag behind the boat. This is a little guy. Pearl white, curl tail, four inch swimming mullet, Berkeley Gulf. My go to bait, winter time. Captain Mike Gallup got one in front of you. Or behind. Here he comes. Huh? There you go. Good fish. Are we putting the herd on him with the trolling line? Really the next one. Well, this is a good one. Yeah, really. Daddy hooked one for you. <laughs> it's a good fish. Hey, all the same. Watch this when it comes up. Watch this. Good fish. Oh! Look at the size of this spotted sea trout. One, two, three. Nice fish on a nasty day. And there's more right after this Big Fish TV break. It's a new year with new lower pricing like the new 2013 Dodge Journey 7 passenger for only $19,990 or the new 2013 Chrysler 200 Touring for only $17,990. Only at Ray Brandt Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram on the West Bank or online at RayBrandtDodge.com. Oh, that's the way I like it. Nothing's better than boiled seafood. Spice just right. Uh, yeah. And Louisiana fish fry products makes it easy to boil right every time. Can't get enough. Grab a bag. There's nothing to mix. Just pour and boil. Aw, oh, now you're cooking. Crawfish, crab, or shrimp. With Louisiana fish fry products, you got boiling down easy. Oh, that's the way I like it. Ow. The Pen Conker is the most technologically advanced spinning reel built. Good thing this drag makes noise. You wouldn't even know what's going out. Smooth HT100 drag under the heaviest loads. I am amazed how smooth that drag is. Patented one-piece machine gearbox. One-of-a-kind easy access system for a lifetime of painless maintenance. What a home run. Pen. Legendary performance. Hey folks, Sam Barbera, I want to tell you about something special right here in Port Allen, right next door to the Solo Studios. It's Pro Shop Boat Service. Brian McMillan does it all. Main engine repair, trolling motor, power pole repair, electrical and lighting, upholstery and carpet, and aluminum welding. Port Allen, right here across the bridge. The info's right here on your screen. Come see Brian McMillan at Pro Shop Boat Service and tell them Sam sent you. It's a new year with new lower pricing like the new 2013 Dodge Journey 7 passenger for only $19,990 or the new 2013 Chrysler 200 Touring for only $17,990. Only at Ray Brand Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram on the West Bank or online at RayBrandDodge.com. You wouldn't likely pass the area between Paris Road Bridge and Bow Brothers Construction and see much of anything that looks mm, fishy. But from now till spring, this area holds a consistent catch of fish and today those fish were hungry. Y'all working too hard. You need to be trolling, not casting. Oh, it's a speckle trout. <laughs> it's a beautiful speckle. I was standing by. I'm sorry, but that's good. Look at that. That's beautiful. May I unhook it? No, touch it, please. Okay. Thank you, bro. <laughs> it's a beautiful fish. Look, I know you haven't used the fish box much. It's up in the front of the boat. Thank you very much. <laughs> How much longer do you think these fish will be in here? Uh, till March. Till when March. they start leaving and fanning out into some of the open water. When the shrimp's up moving. Right. Well, they'll be in here. They'll be in here. And they'll linger till probably mid-April. Nice. Okay. They're catching fish. I'm not. Story of my life. But, you know what? Whoa! <laughs> hey, buddy. No, hold this for me. I can't even talk. Hold this for can me. I, can I reel, may I reel one in? <laughs> 
Man? <laughs> it's all okay, let's swap. <laughs> Is this what it feels? <laughs> Fish on Sambi! Let me get this thing out of the way. Yeah? You know? It just can't. It can't get any more embarrassing. So you want the tricks to troll him? It's pretty easy. You just want to get the bait close to the bottom. If it's bumping the bottom, take some line in. If it's not bumping the bottom, let some line out. You can be casting in front of the boat while the trolling lines are behind it. Kind of double dip fishing. Hey, like this. Beautiful. Trolling in the winter is a great way to catch fish. Oh, a quick word of caution. Food is scarce for pelicans this time of year, and you may find them a little more aggressive than usual. Look at this. I had almost had two nibbles. Woohoo! Rain, no sleet, no. Even a little rain headed our way can keep us from delivering the speckled trout. Oh, Tommy. Oh, Tommy. In this one picture right now, you got the secret bait and the secret spot. How hard can it be? Oh, it's a speckled trout. No, no. I'll give it to you, it's just a ladyfish. <laughs> Even, so watch the weather, be careful. But even in challenging conditions, you can come to fish in places that are protected, like the intercoastal waterway. And I think I got a bite on my trolling line behind me. For more details on this trip and current fishing hotspots, check out bigfishfinder.net. Now let's head to Delacro and jump in a boat with Captains C.T. Williams and Jack Payne at Sweetwater Marina. All right, you probably already know this, but Delacro, Louisiana is a famous wintertime fishing spot. And it looks like this year is no different. Catching speckled trout can be challenging this time of year. I think we should catch some fish. Last week we had that warm weather, it warmed up really nice. The fish turned on great. I caught fish three days in a row. But we're back to that cold pattern again, so it'll be a little more difficult. But we're supposed to have beautiful weather this weekend back in the 60s, so it should be great again for the weekend. Bring it in here, Jack. Here we go. Like a beautiful speckled trout. Every fish is a gift. <laughs> Doesn't matter. That's nice. Finding clean water will be the biggest challenge, but areas between Lake John and Four Horse Lake were productive even in windy conditions. Seems like the trick today is finding a little bit of mixing or moving water. And uh, getting your bait into the moving water, letting it drift with the water giving it a couple of pops, and hopefully getting the result that you desire, which is fish. Tough day, tough conditions, but when you think... Hey, buddy! Oh. Hey, buddy! Keep a speckled trout! Oh! How about that? Good morning, honey. Not today. You are not going fishing today! Ugly Stick, America's strongest, most sensitive rod. It's a new year with new lower pricing like the new 2013 Dodge Journey 7 Passenger for only $19,990 or the new 2013 Chrysler 200 Touring for only $17,990. Only at Raybrand Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram on the West Bank or online at RayBrandDodge.com. You're an outdoorsman. You love to hunt and fish, but hate it when you reach for your knife and discover it's dull. After all your hard work and skill, you're now faced with the prospect of ruining the meat or worse still, your trophy. Introducing the new Work Sharp Knife and Tool Sharpener, the revolutionary power sharpener built specifically for you, the outdoorsman. Sharpening every knife you own has never been so easy. When you prepare your knives with Work Sharp, you know you're ready for action. Precision, easy to use guides deliver the perfect angle for razor sharp knives. Fast, effective, repeatable every single time. Flexible, quick-changing abrasive belts were strategically engineered to sharpen cool. In seconds, you'll grind, sharpen, and hone all with one tool. Spend more time in the field where you belong. Get the most out of all your hunting and fishing gear by adding the WorkSharp Knife and Tool Sharpener to your arsenal. 
It's a new year with new lower pricing like the new 2013 Dodge Charger for only $22,490 or the new 2013 Dodge Challenger for only $21,990. Only at Ray Brand Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram on the West Bank or online at RayBrandDodge.com. Windy conditions in Delacroix can make for a tough fishing day. But Captains Jack Payne, San Barbera and I scratched out a nice box of fish with a little persistence. Tough day, tough conditions. But when you think... Hey, buddy! Oh. Hey, buddy! Keep, ah, keep a speckled trout! Oh, two! Oh, how about that? All right, one of the real advantages of fishing Delacroix is it's got a fair amount of deep water, and that's what fish are looking for this time of year, is that water heats up and cools down. But, all right, you catch this fish, you bring him in the boat, and you grab him. He's not cold to the touch, which means, all right, the water temperature must be pretty reasonable where he's, where he's swimming. The other thing is, there's not a leech or a lesion. There's no little no scratch marks from the oyster shells, no little leeches on the bottom. And what that tells you, he's suspended. So these fish are still up off the bottom, running around looking for your bait. When you get one like this on the line, it makes a whole day worth it. All right, look at this. Ooh, he's feeling good, Jack. Feeling good. Here we go. Let me show you how to warm yourself up. You just have to catch a few of these. Good break. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Yes, it is. Come on, Big Revo. Hey, look at the size of that submarine. <laughs> look at that. Let's take you from the cold banks of Delacroix down into the French Quarter to the hot kitchen at GW Fence. All right, batter fried speckled trout tacos, fish tacos. Uh, we do them down in French Quarter Festival, uh, down by the river every year, and we usually grill those, uh, uh, which is also good. Sautéed is good, but I think batter fried is absolutely the best. Now this is a lot of ingredients in about three different steps. But right now, I've got the dry ingredients for the beer batter mixed together. I've got a <laughs> cup of cornstarch, a cup of all-purpose flour, a little one-finger pinch like that of baking soda, and baking powder, and then a tablespoon of Creole seasoning. And I'm going to stir in one just regular light beer or regular Pilsner beer or whatever. You want to keep this batter cold. If you make it a little bit ahead of time, just put it in the refrigerator, keep it on ice. And I'm also going to add ice to that, and it's going to kind of thin it out to the consistency of heavy cream. You don't want this stuff very thick at all. It's almost like a tempura batter. It's nice and crispy. Let's throw in a handful of ice. Stir that up, and then by the time we get over there, the ice should be melted. And if it's not, we'll just add a drop of water. Now I've got some shredded cabbage and a little bit of red pepper for color there. Starting off with a, about a cup of blue plate mayonnaise. This is going to be a, a chipotle flavored uh, slaw, which is a, a, great, a great Mexican style flavor. It's a smoked jalapeno pepper. We're going to add a uh, good sized pepper and then we're going to get a little bit of the juice out of the can. I want this to be spicy because it's really the only, the only spice that's going to be on this. I don't have a sauce for this other than the, of course we can put some crystal or Tabasco or something on there. I'm going to add some lime juice and a good four finger pinch of Creole seasoning, a little salt and pepper. I want this to be fairly highly seasoned. I mean, to me, the secret of a good fish taco, I mean, obviously is having good Louisiana fish, but it's also having a, a really nicely seasoned slaw. And you can do this in a blender, but I, I like my little, my little hand blender. If you, I'm sure you've noticed when you make slaw that after you add the dressing, it loosens up a bit, the, the salt and, the, and the, uh, the acid from the lime juice and everything make the, make the cabbage give off some liquid. But, you want it nice and wet. You want it wet, fairly highly seasoned. I'm going to add chopped green onions, a good handful of that, and some chopped cilantro. And this we can do ahead of time. If you want to do, this, do the dressing the day before, that's fine. I don't really like to do the slaw the day before. I like to do that relatively close to, to service. The slaw is ready, the fish are next, and Tenny will wrap up the whole enchilada right after this Big Fish TV break. Power bait from Berkeley looks, moves, and smells more like the real thing. And since it tastes more like the real thing, fish bite and hold on longer, up to 18 times longer than other artificials, giving you more time to set the hook, which means you'll be hearing. Woo! Woo! 
a lot more often. Power bait from Berkeley. What you need to catch more fish. The Trilene 100% professional grade fluorocarbon from Berkeley is remarkably clear. It has little to no memory and is extremely abrasion resistant. But most importantly, it's the most impact resistant fluorocarbon you can buy, which means you'll hear a lot more Woo! Woo! Woo and a lot less. Oh, what? Oh. Trilene fluorocarbon from Berkeley. <laughs> Woo! For anglers who want to catch more fish. We're a nation of hardworking Americans, and businesses will always be the lifeline of this great country. As a business owner, you understand the importance of your reputation. In times of uncertainty, you need a real lawyer who's serious about protecting you and your business. You need a problem solver. You need the law firm of Clayton and Fouget. Tony Clayton is a proven trial lawyer. He'll defend you and your business to the fullest extent of the law. Protect your investment and call the law firm of Clayton and Fouget today. That's the way I like it. Nothing's better than boiled seafood. Spiced just right. Oh, uh, yeah. And Louisiana fish fry products makes it easy to boil right every time. Can't get enough. Grab a bag. There's nothing to mix. Just pour and boil. Aw, oh, now you're cooking. Crawfish, crab, or shrimp. With Louisiana fish fry products, you got boiling down easy. Oh, that's the way. Tenny's fish tacos are outstanding and easy to make. The chef's finishing up the dish in his GW Finn's kitchen right now. Okay, our tortillas are next. I've got a hot iron skillet, and these are these are white corn tortillas, and I'm gonna I'm gonna start browning them off. My beer batter's thinned out nicely. Like I said what I want is the consistency of of heavy cream. By the time the rest of that ice melts, it'll be in good shape. I'm gonna season that with a little Creole seasoning. Okay, the first tortilla's got a little bit of color on it. You can see just a little bit of a little bit of light brown. I also have professional fingers. You might want to use a pair of tongs or something to, to do that with. Okay, and I'm going right in a napkin. I'm going to cover it up and let it steam. I'm going to put this fish right down in the batter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to let the batter drain off two pieces of fish. You see I have a very light coating and I'm going to take it and I'm going to wave it through the grease like that two or three times and then when I let go of it it's going to be close to floating. Now, if I was to drop that straight in or drop it in a basket straight in what would happen it, was go, it would go to the bottom and stick. Doing it this way makes sure that it, it does not stick. And when this is done it's going to float. Let that drain just a little bit, and I'm going to gently turn it out on this on this paper towel, and then over to building the tacos. Now this is a uh, be a great buffet out in the yard if you wanted to set up something like that, um, and this is can be done completely ahead of time. So I've got I've got my my brown tortillas, I've got my slaw, a little bit of uh, avocado and tomato garnish, and some cilantro and, uh, and green onion garnish as well. So I'm just going to put these together. And you, these tortillas are nice and nice and hot and warm. I want a good bit of slaw. Actually, I want I want about as much slaw as I have have fish. Good sprinkle of uh, green onion and cilantro. That's got so much on there; it's not going to stay shut. This is also, a, if you didn't catch a whole lot of fish, this is a good way to stretch, stretch your fish a little bit. And a little, a little lime juice to squeeze on there. So we've got batter fried Louisiana speckled trout tacos with chipotle mayonnaise, avocado, and tomato from GW Fins. GW Fins restaurants serve seafood so fresh, they print a new menu every day. Give Chef Tenny a call and get the best seat in the house. Hey, Chef Tenny makes good food look easy. And if you want to know about this recipe and many, many others, you know, go to the website, bigfishfinder.net. That's it. You're going to have all of them right there.
Mr. Joe, what do you have on your mind this week? Well, Sam, it's like this. In the next week, fishermen across South Louisiana are going to have a chance for their voices to be heard. We talked earlier about the Wildlife and Fisheries Commission and their big meeting next Thursday. Re Recreational Red Snapper, the Atchafalaya Basin, and the surrounding waters with their black bass regulations. That notice of intent is going to come out about that, and they're going to outline the regulations for how they want to change that 14-inch limit that's been around for 20 years. You're going to have about 90 days from the time it's published to make your comments known. Please call the Wildlife and Fisheries and let them know. We're going to tell you everything that's going on about those regulations. And the same thing holds true with the recreational red snapper. Louisiana is in the forefront of changing the dynamic of how the Gulf of Mexico Fishery Management Council sets recreational seasons and what they do with red snapper. We know we have abundant red snapper off our coast. We know that the state wants to go to a regional management scheme. We know that they want to change the dates from a 27 day that. straight that season fish. to give it's us absolutely the maximum gorgeous. amount of time that we Red snapper, I'm a regional. Nice sized fish instead of small. Let the commission know. Let the wildlife and fisheries know. That's going to be the driving force. Enough support from you guys is going to be enough support for them to go back to the council and do what we need to do. And Sam, even if that means Louisiana's going to be non-compliant. We're not going to take that 27-day straight season starting June 1st. At least folks have a voice in both issues. Yes, they do. That's a good now, thing. Now's the time. Get, let them know what you want. Um, we hope you enjoyed you know, this week's edition of Big Fish TV. It's a big adventure for us. Yeah, it is. You know, and I know you picked up some tips from Captain Jack Payne. Special thanks to him. Special thanks to Captain Mike Gallo. Two of the finest guys you ever want to meet on the water. And not bad fishermen. Not bad. Not, not bad. bad. Pretty deep. <laughs> pretty hey, good. we'll see you next week on Big Fish TV. Until then, take a minute to look at BigFishFinder.net. This is a website filled with great fishing information for everyone, and if you become a member, you can find GPS numbers as well as marked maps and detailed information to fishing spots that are active right now. The site is new and continues to grow, but already has a great deal of good information. Before your next fishing trip, give it a try. Hey, and special thanks to our guest today, Captain Mike Gallo. He's located in Slidell and fishes from the Wrigley's to Seabrook and out to the Biloxi Marsh. An excellent captain. Give him a call or visit his website. And Captain Jack Payne, who's located in Delacroix. He owns the Sweetwater Marina and runs charters daily. Jack has all of Delacroix and Breton Sound covered. Flat water gold skies, light shrimp of cockahoo. Which one will I throw? A big fish in your style, bread and sound of grand eye. Big fish in your style, bread and sound of grand eye.